हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ कल्पना सागर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर सी ओ डिपार्टमेंट काइट ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट बस सिस्टम यूजिंग ट्राई स्टेट बफर दीज आर द मेजर हाईलाइट ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर इन विच फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ट्राई स्टेट बस बफर एंड देन द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस ट्राई स्टेट इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द बस सिस्टम इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर we had understood the construction of the bus system using the multiplexer but in this video lecture we will study the bus system construction using tri state buffer what is this tri state buffer three state gate is a digital circuit that exhibits three states two of the states are signals equivalent to logic 1 and 0 as in a conventional gate the third state is a high impedance state this high impedance state behaves like an open circuit which means that the output is disconnected and does not have a logic significance three state gates may perform any conventional logic such as and or nand however one most commonly used in the design of the bus system is the buffer gate application of tri state bus buffer a bus system can be constructed with tri state gates instead of multiplexers this is the graphical symbol of a tri state buffer tri state buffer is distinguished from the normal buffer by having both a normal input and the control input the control input determines the output state when the control input is equal to 1 then the output is enabled and the gate behaves like any conventional buffer with the output equal to the normal input when this control input is zero then the output is disabled and the gate goes to the high impedance state regardless of the value in the normal input you can notice this description in this image here we have the normal input which is a and the control input c the output which is designated as y would be equal to a if the value of the control input is 1 and if the value of the control input is 0 this will act as a high impedance state now let's discuss the special feature of this tri state buffer the high impedance state of tri state gate provides a special feature that is not available in other gates because of this feature a large number of tri state gate outputs can be connected with wires to form a common bus line without endangering the loading effect this is the circuit diagram of bus system using the tri state buffer within this block diagram you can observe that the output of the four buffers are connected together so as to form a common bus system it must be realized that this type of connection cannot be established with other type of gates that do not have three state output the control inputs to each buffer will determine which of the four normal inputs will communicate with the bus line no more than one buffer may be active at a time while all other buffers are maintained in a high impedance state one way to ensure that no more than one control input is active at a given time is to use a decoder when the enable input of this decoder is zero then all of its four outputs will be zero and the bus line will be in the high impedance state simply because all four buffers are disabled when the enable input of this decoder is active one of the three state buffer will be active depending on the binary values in the select input of the decoder in short to construct a common bus for four register of n bits each each using three state buffer we need n circuits with four buffers as shown in this figure each group of four buffer receives 
one significant bit from the four registers. Each common output reduces one of the lines for the common bus. For a total of n lines, only one decoder is necessary to select between the four registers. Now, I would like to conclude my this video lecture in which student had understood the construction of the bus system using the tri-state buffer. Thank you students. See you soon in the next lecture. Till then, keep smiling and happy learning.